Well, it's uh, you know our honor to be uh, appointed by the Pope to uh, uh, be the interior designer for uh, Glendale. Um, I've been uh, to Indonesia many times, and in fact, uh, I really appreciate the culture, love the history, and the uh, and also also the beauty of uh, your culture, and, uh, and and also the whole background, the sort of philosophy of your lifestyle. Um, of course, in Japan, we have the similar. And uh, I think talking about contemporary life, lifestyle uh, and bringing in uh, uh, this design to the lifestyle uh, in, in, in Glendale, uh, we uh, thought of our own culture, the contemporary culture, uh, rooted in, in, in history. And so uh, let me explain that the concept is what we call monoscape. And uh, of course, mono is single and scape, like landscape, uh, which means that a room uh, could be very simple, uh, single, let's say, it would be color or single style. Um, but in terms of scape, single style of many textures. So if you look closely at, at the space, maybe it looks like one color, but you feel many textures, depth, uh, dimensional quality. Um, and, and where that comes from is uh, uh, what we see as the Japanese culture, uh, or even design world, being very confident of our, uh, what we've uh, accomplished in the, uh, in the global sense. Uh, all the world pay, pays attention to our design. Uh, it is because we, uh, are so much. Uh, I think. I think we we are so much part of uh, nature as well. Like you, in the tropical uh, environment. For us, we have four seasons, and sometimes it's uh, hot and humid, like here. But at the same time, uh, in the winter, it's dark and it can be cold. And of course, we have the balance of uh, very nice weather in the spring and uh, color starting out and color fading away uh, in the fall. And uh, so we see that we have a unique sense of color. In Japan, if you know this, I don't know if you have heard about this, is that we have our own set of colors. Like the colors we learn in school, red, yellow, green, we have that, but it's in Japanese tone. And they use it for traditional Japanese paintings, etc. cetera. Uh, and so we see the color in different ways and maybe toned down a little bit subtle. Uh, and uh, we understand that we, we feel affinities. And I wanted to bring that here. Um, with that kind of a, a not so bright, uh, sort of festive kind of thing, really uh, low key background. But the people who live, who live in the place bring the color in with their fashion, uh, with the furniture, with, the, with, with, with whatever they have put flowers, etc. So I think um, we as a team, the designer and the, and the, and the person who lives there, the family who lives there, uh, become a team to create sort of a balance between monoscape and, and, the, uh, and the colorful lifestyle. And uh, as far as the, the design of the public area is concerned, uh, I'm an architect uh, by training, and of course I do design buildings. Uh, we are working with a Japanese firm uh, who's doing the building design with this uh, Japanese concept. We uh, meet, met with them and heard their concept and uh, we really agree with what they uh, uh, have, have come up with. And so what we wanted to do is as you come in, uh, as, you, as you come to visit the complex, see the building, coming into the uh, lobby, you know, from the outside, feeling like uh, coming into sort of a, a contemporary Japanese style design. We go in and, and we sort of take the torch, you know, from them. And we carry that torch in, sort of understanding the Japanese culture, the concept. So we bring in that kind of uh, contemporary Japanese and natural, uh, and of course, again, lobby as well, monoscape, uh, kind of an idea into the uh, into the public area, and the public area has a very interesting.
Japanese contemporary paper artist artwork. And we have an accent color, it's monotone, but we have a very dynamic color, uh, a very high uh, wall uh, that is uh, accented. At the same time, uh, we have a, a nice cozy sort of living uh, room area, sort of to bring the outside people uh, in and, and meet, maybe have a, a brief meeting if, uh, if they don't come up to their, their units. So uh, we wanted to sort of smoothly transition from outside in to the Japanese uh, kind of environment. And, in, and you go up and, and uh, come to the show unit or to, to our units, uh, and it becomes, again, very sophisticated uh, Japanese uh, contemporary monoscape landscape. I think uh, their building concept, because it's a very important building, uh, is very strong. Uh, they really bring out the Japanese philosophy uh, uh, into the design. And uh, when, we, when we met uh, with the uh, machine and heard the presentation instantly, you know, I agree. Of course, they came up with an idea and uh, completely agree. Um, so we, at the same time, we brought our design up and uh, we presented our design and to, to, to uh, make a good fusion, uh, we had a very good meeting, uh, sort of exchanging ideas uh, about what they're trying to do outside and then for us, uh, try to make them understand what we're trying to do with their uh, uh, ideas not ignoring, but really collaborating. Um, and so, of course, it's interesting. Design process is interesting because we all like to express our own design. But uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, you know, because uh, we may have different ideas and different tastes. But in this case, I think both both parties uh, work very hard to try to understand each other's work uh, direction. And I think uh, we're working on it at, at this moment to try to uh, really come uh, how to connect the two, really, the entrance. How do you how do you enter? What happens there? And uh, they're working on it now, and I think uh, it's going to be a very uh, exciting uh, kind of a, a collaboration. And I think they appreciate our uh, uh, selection of uh, artists uh, and uh, and design uh, elements that we uh, we are bringing in. Uh, you know, just to say. They don't have. They have no objections. That's wonderful because in these uh, meetings, objections are, are no normal. But I think uh, we respect each other, and I think uh, it's a good collaboration. And I thank Lippo team for uh, sort of bringing us together and uh, sort of uh, being there. You know, try to understand both sides. And I also like to express that, uh, of course, our team, P Life team have our own team, we have uh, selection of artists, uh, we have our own uh, uh, in our team, interior designers and, uh, and engineers, and I think they've been working really hard, and uh, our uh, team, you know, what you've seen, we're bringing in a lot of things from Japan, we're, we're carrying a lot of elements to show you uh, the examples of uh, how uh, uh, in, in Indonesia one can live, uh, sort of a Japanese style, so, uh, I hope you enjoy our uh, show unit and, uh, and learn a little bit about the Timurid Japanese uh, lifestyle. I think. Um, What's interesting is uh, in design, like fashion design, you know, things change. But what doesn't change is, I think, uh, the, the, the comfort, what is the comfort uh, condition of a, of a person uh, in a relaxed mode? I think it's, uh, it's really what we, what we feel with our eyes, what we see with our eyes is, uh, is, is really a comfortable uh, level of a tone color 
And uh, I see that the contemporary lifestyle, uh, very sophisticated, is simplicity. And I, I, I believe that it's been that way for, for 50, 60, 80 years since the, 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 the uh, coming of modernism. And we're still in that period because we have not overcome uh, the modernism. What is beyond modern? Uh, it's contemporary, but what's there? Uh, I think we still will have that. But more and more, uh, Asia is becoming the focus, as you know. The, the, the power focus is becoming Asian. So I think in, in Europe or in, in, in America, uh, in the West, people are focusing in on, on, on Asia and more foreigners uh, come here and they learn in China, they learn Chinese, Indonesia, they have a lot of people here, expats. Uh, they'll, they'll kind of uh, fuse. And I think it's interesting that maybe the Japanese and, and the Western culture fuse together, but maybe it's time for Southeast Asian culture to, to fuse, like Bali culture, you know, going into the hotel design in, uh, in Europe and, 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 uh, and U.S., the resort designs. So uh, the color, again, accent within that sort of a, a very uh, a neutral background to be an interesting kind of a uh, design trend that uh, can can cannot uh, only uh, work now in 2016 for maybe next 10 years because each culture has its own color and form and history and uh, and all the designers around the world are looking for new inspirations and uh, and, and maybe Bali's major but maybe other parts of Indonesia because it's so huge, uh, you know, West Timor or wherever, East Timor, or whatever the, the small uh, areas that, that uh, uh, designers will go and venture and discover some new elements. And so it's, uh, in a way, it's, it's there, the, the, the neutral background, the color, and then maybe it's time for discovery of Asia, uh, is what, what I see. And, and I'm an American, yeah, I've been here for 20 years, because it's always interesting to, uh, to explore.